Welcome to the Notorious DID. I am Solara. If you've been following my channel, or our channel, then you will be familiar with me. Um, today, I'm going in for a procedure this afternoon. It's not a serious procedure, but really any procedure or any appointment, things like of this nature are uncomfortable. So it's a skin tag procedure. And I would not be bothering, but unbeknownst to me until it actually happens, skin tags can get infected. And they can discolor and swell up. So this took place last year. And I am just now getting enough courage to go in and have it taken care of. I am a procrastinator when it comes to anything medical. I am uncomfortable with the medical profession. I do not feel doctors are advanced enough to know exactly what they're doing. After Val went in for a procedure to have a complete knee replacement uh, several years ago, that was a nightmare. The knee still doesn't work properly. As a matter of fact, it works worse than the knee, the other knee, which both of them had, um, one had obviously the one that was replaced and then the one has advanced arthritis. And the one with the advanced arthritis works better for me than the knee replacement. Literally, the knee replacement will fall out from under me sometimes. It will lock. It, I don't know if it's phantom pain or what, or if it's just the fact that they say that your body is uncomfortable with any kind of metal in it. So it rejects it to a certain degree and gives you pain, which it definitely does. So... I wish that we were far enough advanced to where I was comfortable with going to the doctor for anything, but I am not. I am one of those people that I do not go to the hospital unless I am dying. Literally, I, I had a pulmonary embolism in November of... 2013, I think it was. Then I knew something was se severely, seriously wrong, and I did go uh, quickly. Thank God, because um, I had a blood clot in my left lung that had permeated from my left leg. Uh, behind the knee, and it was, it dissipated rather quickly, but for the rest of my life, I have to be on Xarelta blood thinner, because it's unknown as to what exactly caused the blood clot, so I'm at risk of blood clot for the rest of my life, especially with having had a pulmonary embolism. I gladly take it each day. You want to know why? Because I survived through that. There are a lot of people that do not. And anything that's going to help prolong the life is, is well worth it. So things like that, if it's got to do with life or death, absolutely. Because there is nothing to lose at that point except for getting help. 
So if you happen to be in a position where you're concerned about something to do with your health, have it checked. If it, it could possibly be something serious, just like recently my aunt passed away. She thought she was having a panic attack. Well, this lasted for a couple of days, her having the pain and the problems. Then um, my cousin, her daughter, woke up and found her dead. She had died from a heart attack, so you never quite know exactly what the process is or what is going on. That is why it is always important if you are having something seriously wrong, go to your nearest emergency room or go to your doctor, get it seen, get it taken care of, because you never know. Tomorrow's not promised to anybody, so you just never know. As I said, though, this procedure is not that serious. Me and my daughter both have to go. Um, hers is for keloids. Unfortunately, a past ex of mine pierced her ears, and evidently there was some kind of disruption when he pierced her ears. So she develops keloids, which are little lumps on the back of your ears on her ears constantly to where she has to go in and have them either reduced or she has to have them taken off. And this is not an extremely serious procedure either, but it's uncomfortable for her, obviously. And she can no longer properly wear earrings, which is another thing I'm grateful for because he did mine as well. Well, I should say reopened piercings I had at the very top of my ears and um, this is several years ago and I did not have the problems with keloids so that's at least a good situation but I am going to hopefully have that removed today if they're not going to remove it today then um, It'll be set up to do so, and I'm going to have to be proactive. I have to get it done. I know I have to get it done, but those of you who are procrastinators, I'm sure you fully understand there are a million reasons in your head that you give yourself to not do something or to prolong something or just keep going with it because literally this is probably about my fifth or sixth appointment that I've made and just kept resetting the appointment and resetting the appointment because I cannot stand having to go to the doctor. I cannot stand having to have procedures. It's uncomfortable for me to be in those circumstances where somebody else is in control of what is going on is Obviously, like I say, it's not super important right now, but when I'm looking up the procedure and everything, it's always good to be informed, but at the back end of that, it also makes you uncomfortable too, because I genuinely thought that they just froze skin tags off, where it looks like the procedure is they do have to use a scalpel to cut it off after they um, numb up the region. So, but anyway, I hope everybody is happy and healthy and safe and that you are doing exceptionally well with your health because in these days, be proactive is all I can say. Even as procrastinators, Get off your duff, get out there and get it done. Because it's not going to do it itself, and unfortunately it has to be done. And if you know it has to be done, just get up and go get it done. I say this, and I'm still not wanting to do it. But, I will. So, thank you for joining the Notorious DID today. Like, subscribe, share. Hit the bell to... 
hear from us and listen to our daily life as far as our blog and what we are going through. We hope that this can help others as well as ourselves. So, blessings your way from Solara. Bye.